Hey, what is up everybody? My name's Star Lord. I hope that you're all having a fantastic day and yeah, today's video we're going to be talking about the Founders items for Fortnite Battle Royale, especially Founders items that are coming out hopefully very very soon in the game. So yes, do stay tuned throughout the whole video as it does post some very important information and if you guys don't already know exactly what the Founders items are, basically if you bought the original Fortnite game, basically the, the developers who are epic said if you buy this game and support our game, uh, basically we will give you rewards because you've bought it, you know, and those rewards will be given to you in Fortnite Battle Royale. And uh, since then, we've only ever got one reward, if I'm correct, and that was, I think, a Founder's Glider and a Founder's Umbrella, which was really, really bad, to be honest. And since then, nothing else. There's absolutely been nothing else at all given to us. Uh, but of course, there was a couple of skin leaks that was leaked around about a month and a half ago, which a lot of people were very, very psyched about. And honestly, like, because they got leaked so far back, everyone assumed that they would come out, like, within the two weeks that it got leaked. And unfortunately, it just seems like they haven't, and Epic have completely forgotten about Founders again. And uh, that's what I'm going to be talking about in today's video. It's uh, actually very important that a lot of people get behind me on this, because, uh, you know, we want our rewards. We bought the game, we helped them in their development, and we want their rewards. Uh, so anyway, before we do get into today's video, guys, don't forget to leave a like, and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for more videos just like this about Fortnite Battle Royale. And also, I am doing a huge V-Bucks giveaway if you don't already know about that. The link is in the top of the description. Click on it. It's so simple, and it'll tell you how to participate in that. Uh, but anyway, let's get talking about the Founders items and when we can expect them in Fortnite Battle Royale. Uh, we're going to start off with what the actual Founders items that were leaked are so if you haven't already seen what the founders are supposedly going to be getting uh, these are going to be on screen in just a second and uh, as you can see the first one here is the rose team leader outfit and uh, this is the female variant obviously and uh, you know she obviously got a very basic character look i mean there's nothing really great about this skin nothing very unique it's just got a different kind of hat on uh, and a different kind of top on it and all that kind of stuff and uh, also, we do have a male variant of this character. I can't remember the name off the top of my head because I don't script my videos, so I am very sorry about that. But he is on screen right now, and as you can see, he's kind of like got wall paint on his face and everything. Looks very badass. And again, there's nothing really much about this skin that cries like uniqueness, you know? Is that even a word? Uniqueness? No, it probably isn't. But anyway, I'm using it anyway for this example, but it's not very a very unique kind of character, you know? It's basically just another really bad reskin. And uh, these were leaked a long time ago, actually, along with the back blings that we, we, we will be getting for these characters. And uh, yeah, as of the last update, there was a lot of controversy about this. And this is actually why I've decided to make this video, because I know a lot of people will be interested about it. But basically, with these back blings, you got one for the male and one for the female. And uh, the one for the female will be on screen right now. And as you guys can see, it looks very familiar, and you guys probably know why. That is because Epic actually used this design as the backpack, uh, yeah, it's the backpack. They actually used this back bling as a backpack, which is named the Eye of the Storm Tracker. And a lot of people were really angry about this, because obviously, if they've got an item in the game that is being used as a certain kind of tool, it was kind of apparent that we wouldn't be getting that back bling anymore. And uh, it was like, it was no longer a founder's item. So a lot of people took to Reddit and Twitter and they were very, very angry about this. But uh, yeah, luckily enough, Epic actually removed this item from the game, stating that it was just a placeholder until they finalized the design of the actual real Eye of the Storm backpack. So that is a really, it's, it's actually very good that they did that. It's a, it's a, you know, I understand that they do need placeholders sometimes. And obviously it got leaked. It wasn't actually meant to go out in that update. So, you know, they understood everyone's frustration. And uh, it's actually safe to say that we may still be getting those founders item in the future. But again, it's one of those. Where are these founders items? And honestly, is waiting all of this time good enough for these founders items? I mean, again, if you just look back in the video, you can tell that these are not really that great. I mean, Twitch Prime skins get much more love than these. And honestly, I'm not a big fan. I mean, honestly, yeah, it would be really cool if we did get them as a founders item, as like a basic uh, uncommon skin or something like that, or maybe a rare skin. Uh, but I would expect to have 
some sort of other skin too. Maybe even if they did a mythic skin. Just a one time only mythic skin just for supporting the actual game itself. I mean, I know for a fact then a lot of people would go and purchase the actual Battle Royale, uh, sorry, the actual Fortnite game if they heard that a mythic skin was actually being released. That would be a smart business move by Epic. Now, like I said, we don't exactly know what's going on here, and it's been around about a month and a half since we've heard any kind of news about this, and it was rumored a while ago that when Ninja actually played with an Epic developer in the live stream, the Epic developer actually said something along the lines with, uh, oh yeah, we've actually got Founders items coming out very, very soon. And uh, everyone kind of knew what they were talking about, you know, it was obviously the Rose Team Leader and the Blue Male variant of that. But since then, it's been around about a month and a half, maybe even two months at most. And there's just nothing here, which kind of makes me assume, are Epic working on some big, huge thing for the Founders? I mean, have they completely just kind of thought, you know what, these two kind of skins aren't good enough, we're gonna make the game free in summer anyway, so why don't we just make a big, huge package for people who bought our game and include like five, six different skins, pickaxes, gliders, all of that kind of stuff. That would make much more sense, honestly, because if people found out about that early, if people got the gist of that, that that was actually going to happen, I know for a fact that before the actual Fortnite game went free, people would go to the website and they would buy the full game to support Epic, and not only that, but to get all of these awesome skins in the future. But anyway, I would love to know what your opinion is on a, you know, a mythic skin coming out to Fortnite Battle Royale, just as an exclusive Founders reward. I think it would be really cool, to be honest, and again, you know, a while ago, I bought this game, and I do love Epic Games. They made one of my best fr franchises that I've ever, ever loved, and that was uh, Gears of War, and I thought, you know what, this game has potential, I will support it, I will buy the actual main game itself, and honestly, although you do get free V-Bucks in the main game, I hardly ever log on to it. I just bought it to support the team so that I could actually have content to provide you guys on this awesome, awesome game for the remainder of the future. So, yeah, I really think that a Mythic skin or something along the lines of that would be really, really unique, really cool, and a good way to kind of say, you know what, thank you guys for actually supporting this. You guys are awesome. Here, take your free skin. Uh, but anyway, guys, that's pretty much been it for today's discussion video. I would just like to end it all, all and say, yeah, uh, basically, thank you very much for all of the support on the channel lately. I've been seeing a lot more comments that are really nice and kind of supportive. And uh, I really need that right now. So, yeah, that's really, really awesome that you guys are doing that. And, uh, yeah, like I said, I've got that V-Bucks uh, description, uh, V-Bucks giveaway in the description. Go and check that out. It literally only takes a second or two. And you know what? I know it's a long shot, but hey, you never know, you might actually win it, because, I don't know, I never really thought that I would ever win a giveaway in my whole life, but upstairs in my loft right now, or my attic, I've actually got a signed picture of Wal uh, Paul Rudd and Michael Douglas from the Ant-Man uh, cast, and uh, yeah, that was just really, really cool that I actually won that from Marvel Studios themselves, so yeah, that blew my mind, so you know what I mean, just give it a try, you never really know, and uh, the best of luck to all you guys that actually do. And uh, one last note, I know a lot of you guys have been asking me to do a, a video gaming series with Nathan where I basically I play Fortnite with him and he kind of tells me what to do and everything. Obviously he's only a baby, he's only like 3 turning 4 soon. So uh, yeah, he wouldn't be able to play the game much himself, but he does understand the concept of the game that if I die, I'm dead. And he's like, yo daddy, they died, did you? They died, did you? So uh, yeah, I'm gonna be working on that. I, I might see if he'll actually do it tonight, but it depends on what kind of moods he's in before we actually start recording and everything like that. But if I do actually manage to get him in a good mood where he wants to do that, I will do it, I'll record it, I'll upload it with the face cam, so it'd be pretty cool for you guys to watch. Uh, but anyway, give me some comments down below what kind of videos you'd like me to see uh, to do with Nathan in the future. Um, I've got a, a couple of them that are coming up, maybe, if I can get him to do them. So uh, yeah, I've got a couple of fun things uh, in plan to have Nathan in a couple of videos on the channel. Uh, but anyway guys, like I said, thank you very much for watching today's video. Uh, enjoy the gameplay in the background that's going to run. And uh, yeah, until next time, I've been Star Lord. See ya!